It's the opportunity to really help young people who have had such a struggle in many areas of their lives and really be able to connect with the young person in a way that's meaningful. And it's that relationship that's just the most important thing. My name's Sarah Pritchard and my role is Head of Education here at Hedgeway School. We're lucky enough to have an extensive, beautiful site where we can offer an outdoor curriculum and alongside that we're also able to offer a more academic curriculum and we offer quite bespoke accreditation routes that include AQA unit awards, functional skills and ultimately GCSEs. We are putting in place more vocational and outreach projects so they get a wider curriculum and an understanding of where they might go in the future to a wider career. It is different. It's incredibly learner-centred and if there isn't a way, we will find a way to support every young person that we work with. The staff here are so committed to looking at the individual. The other schools we went to see were interested in telling us what they could provide, but not about Lani and how they would fit her. She's a completely different person. She's found her voice. She's finding who she is. And that's just amazing to watch. My job is to work as part of the clinical team to help think about what children are telling us through their behaviour. Unless they're in an emotionally safe place and they feel contained and understood, they're not ready to learn. They start to believe in themselves and then they can begin to understand that they can be understood. I close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting up for me. A lot of music therapy is about the relationship, so how I will work with the young person, which is very much enabling them to have independence and to have autonomy and to sort of learn that regulation within themselves rather than me telling them what to do or me telling them to calm down. It's more about the child sort of learning that for themselves. All of a sudden, it felt as if my autistic disability, which, um, which has always been like intense worrying or anxiety suddenly disappeared in a way and after that I was able to feel more comfortable with new ideas. Tarek has only been here since September and I already have noticed quite a lot of difference in the way that she's behaving. There's a lot more opportunity for me as a parent to put my input into the programme and what I think would be good for Tarika. I just feel like she feels a lot happier here, she's thanked me for fighting for this school for her um, and it's just really good really. The benefit of outdoor living and forest school at Hedgeway, I would say, is a real increase in self-esteem and increase in confidence. We've got so much space here and we've got um, really great resources and really great infrastructure to do all sorts of vocational learning and give the kids the chance to access the sort of therapeutic nature of the outdoors. And it goes back to the occupational therapy side of things as well. A lot of our children need a lot of proprioceptive activity. So they need to be able to lift things and build things and do all these kind of really physical things that you can't do in a classroom. They're awesome. The teachers are wicked. For a starter, all the staff understand how, me and how it works. They're, oh, they're really nice and they know what to do. When I moved to this school, instantly I felt that I was home and I think that's something that makes you want to come to work. You don't do it for any other reason than it's where you're meant to be. I think it's an amazing opportunity to work with a really fantastic cohort of students and, and staff and there's not many other places that are as well equipped and motivated to, to provide amazing opportunities for young people as here. We want students to leave Hedgeway being the best that they can be, uh, being well-rounded individuals who are prepared for life outside school. People's belief in her is then translating to her having a belief in herself. It encompasses self-esteem, it encompasses resilience and they have ignited that fire within her that she can believe in herself. <laughs>